In our other video, you will have seen how eight metals were ranked into an order of chemical reactivity known as the reactivity series. In this video, you will see how this list can help us predict if a chemical reaction will proceed and how to name the products. Before we begin, we need to modify the list to include the non-metal carbon, which has a known chemical reactivity relative to the metals shown. A displacement reaction is simply when one element pushes out or displaces another from a chemical compound. For example, if a mixture of grey zinc powder and black copper oxide powder are mixed and then heated strongly, causing the reaction to start, we see a violent chemical change, lots of heat and light, making red copper powder and white zinc oxide. Zinc plus copper oxide equals zinc oxide plus copper. Look at where the metals zinc and copper are in the reactivity series. Zinc is above copper and so is the more reactive metal of the two. So zinc, being a more reactive metal, can push out or displace copper from its compound. What if we tried the reverse reaction? Copper plus zinc oxide equals... This reaction will not work, as copper is not reactive enough to displace zinc from its compound. This shows how we can use the reactivity series to predict if a reaction will go, and if it does, then we can name the product by switching the names of the metals around. Try these examples. Decide whether the reaction will work, and if so, name the products. Pause the video while you work this out. How did you do? For example, if you put iron powder in a blue copper sulfate solution, quite quickly you observe a red powder appear, the copper, and a pale green solution of iron sulfate forms. We added the element carbon to the reactivity series at the start of this video. So now let's use it. Decide which of these reactions will go and name the products. Here's a hint. Carbon oxide is carbon dioxide. Pause the video and have a think. Were you right? Look at this table which shows when each metal in this reactivity series was discovered. Notice how metals less reactive than carbon were discovered a long time ago. This is because to isolate these metals from their compounds found in ores, ancient people used charcoal, almost pure carbon, in a fire or furnace to displace these low reactivity metals. This displacement reaction is known as smelting. Very reactive metals required quite different chemistry to be isolated and needed the discovery of current electricity before this could happen. So to recap, you don't need to memorize the list of metals in this series, but you should be able to use it to predict what change, if any, you would expect if a metal is reacted with another metal compound.